Now, the uh, cameras uh, on these devices are now so good that snapping a photograph of ourselves is literally at arm's length away. Self-photos, or selfies, have become something of a global phenomenon, from celebrities to politicians, portraits have gone DIY. Where do all these images uh, end up? Certainly not in the family photo album, but for all the world to see on social media. Perhaps that is the new family uh, uh, photo album. So, is it all narcissism, or is the selfie just savvy uh, self-PR? To talk about this, uh, James Derbyshire is here alongside me, co-founder of uh, Julia Boggio Studios. Uh, wrong shot there, we've got one of his pictures there rather than him, uh, but uh, we can see him now. And uh, live from Cape Town, Aidan Connolly, the managing director of Low and Partners Agency, which is behind the Cape Times Selfies uh, campaign. Aidan, if I can start with you, uh, because you really put that paper on the map, didn't you, when you, when you did those selfies? Just, just tell us what struck you about using that as a vehicle uh, and those portraits, for example, of Kate and Wills doing a selfie on the balcony. Um, I think I think we're even very surprised that it's been such, such a phenomenal success. Um, the the thing that we were called to answer to was um, was the the dying need for press journalism. So we wanted to use um, something that was technologically based to be able to pass comment on it. So the the actual idea came from the line you can't get any closer to the news. So when we started looking at imagery and what we could pair up with that line, we felt wouldn't it be great considering that the digital media is, is what's most threatening to newspaper press, that we actually use something uh, in the digital phenomenon. So um, it was literally just based around that line you can't get any closer to the news. And James uh, Derbyshire, now you're a professional photographer, you've got some of the most beautiful pictures of your, your daughter yeah, thank uh, you very and much. Other, uh, other children <laughs> as well. Is this a threat to somebody like you, do you think? No, no it isn't. Um, selfies are fun. Selfies certainly have their place in the world of photography, but a, a selfie portrait will last a second. Uh, it gets taken on your phone, you put it onto Facebook, and within a few moments people have laughed at it, commented on it, and then it disappears. Well, yeah, but you say that, but it's, it's catching on. I mean, we've got some pictures behind us in the screen here, but let's just look at some others as well. I think we've got, so, Hillary Clinton, I think she put a selfie out, didn't she? She did, uh, yeah, yeah. A few days ago with, uh, with her daughter, which, uh, oh, no, this, uh, this was uh, Glenn Close, uh, Meryl Streep, rather, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, that, are there, is it a trend that is catching on which could eclipse what you do, do you think? Well, I, I don't think it's going to eclipse what we do. Um, uh, our professional portrait studio is, is designed to create some of the most beautiful portraits of people's families, something that's going to last in their families for decades. And so when we're capturing an image, we're spending time understanding oh, God, their personalities. Get rid of that, get, get, get rid of that one. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was forced to do that one, I'm afraid, in the makeup room. Uh, well, let's move swiftly on. Let's go back to you, um, Aidan. Do you think there is, a, there is a risk to traditional photographers, to paparazzi perhaps? Because it is all about control, isn't it? I mean, your campaign was a spoof but you see, you know, uh, celebrities doing it and it gives them some sort of control. Shane Warne decides he wants to pose and do a selfie of himself topless, you know. I mean, he's got control. He's in charge. Um, I, I actually don't think it's a threat to traditional photography. I think um, uh, really, really great photography is an art form. And at, at an ad agency, we're commenting on the phenomenon. We still have to use as our surveys um, so exceptionally strong and sort of important um, portraits that were taken by professional photographers. Um, so I think I think that the photography medium is alive and well. Like people are more interested in trying to control what they about them, and I think that's why it's become such a, an interesting thing for celebrities to. Yeah, but what about, what, what, like but what about this idea? Forth. What about the idea of, you know, a, a society becoming increasingly hungry for self-publicity, for self-furtherment? You know, does, is that something which which worries you in the way that society is changing? This, it's all it's almost the cult of celebrity now, but with everyone doing it. Um, I think I think great advertising is at its best can only really shine a mirror on society. I think all we do is capture a trend or an issue or something else that's out there that's happening without us driving it. So um, I think it's too early to tell with, with selfies, but uh, it certainly has had reached a tipping point when it, in public consciousness. James, um, 
narcissism, or do the people who come and want their pictures taken with you, are they, are they all narcissists? They're not narcissists at all. They want to capture something um, amazing that's going to stand the test of time, that they're going to be able to uh, show on their walls. For, uh, this, is a, this is a picture of your daughter. She, she must be the most photographed uh, child, I think, she in, the, is, in the UK. To be honest, she's now actually screaming the word no whenever she sees the camera, <laughs> so I think we're, we're in deep trouble. But, but, but what about this cult of celebrity, the fact, and, and control? I mean, you are a, a studio photographer, so you're not a paparazzi at all but do you think there is an element of that that people wanting to put out the images they want they don't want to be taken have a picture taken of them by somebody who's going to try and catch them unawares well I don't think it's about um, just necessarily capturing them unawares uh, we uh, professional photographers um, will try and capture someone's personality so it actually reflects them more than uh, drunkenly taking a photograph of themselves in a bar with all of their friends. Not always drunkenly, I just no. tell you. Mine my, 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 my was stone cold sober in makeup. Well, that, that's my story anyway. Uh, James uh, Derbyshire, thank you very much for coming in there with those no pictures. Problem, uh, and Aidan Connolly, uh, congratulations on your campaign, which I think has won uh, several awards uh, as a result of that. The Chinese